Hey guys, Phyllis here. We're going to make this video on the itemization for the cluster error build. The stats you want on the items and the items you want on the slots. And this is pretty much standard for most all cluster error base builds. Um, you do want to take advantage of the set bonuses and things that the Demon Hunter has to offer. You have the Natalia and the Marauder. And you also want to take advantage of the fire damage amplifiers that there are on loot. And, you know, items such as Mage Fist and Cinder Coat are going to be key for this. So the idea for the itemization involves um, taking advantage of the Natalia 3-piece, so you get the crit chance and the discipline, as well as the Marauder 4-piece. So, from my experience, this is one of the strongest combinations of sets that you can do. And you also want to utilize the Mage Fist as well as the Cinder Coat um, and the Reaper Wrap. So, there are certain items that you really, really want to have. Um, they're just really strong for the fire base builds on those slots, like the Ring, the SOJ is going to be the strongest by a long shot. You get the fire damage, you get the elite damage, these amplifiers are just really really strong. So the idea here is to you know get the SOJ, get the Mage Fist, get the Cinder Coat, get the Reaper Wraps, get the Harrington, <coughs> get the Calamity, the Mark for Death bonus, get all these things and get the four piece Marauder and the three piece Nat. And the only way to go about getting all of these strong items as well as the strong set bonus is some combination very similar to what I have here. <laughs> so you go with the Nat weapon and the boots combined with the Ring of the Grander to get that three set bonus. Um, alternatively here you can run the Nat helmet and the Marauder boot. So you have the option between the Nat Boots and the Marauder Boots and the Nat Helm and the Marauder Helm. That could go either way. The important thing here is that you have the Cluster Arrow modifier, 15% Cluster Arrow, on the Helm and the Boots. These modifiers, again, just like the SOJ, Fire Damage and Elite, Mage Fist, Fire Damage, these modifiers are some of the strongest ways to get the most damage out of your character. So you definitely want to take advantage of that where you can. So Nat Weapon Boots, you got the Calamity over here on the offhand for the Mark. Uh, Marauder Pants, Shoulders and Helmet. And the Shoulders is a really good spot to get the resource reduction. So you want to end up with at least two random rolls that have resource reduction. The shoulders is a definite spot that you want to get the resource reduction. Um, the other random roll for resource reduction you can get it a number of places. Uh, the gloves instead of attack speed the resource reduction is probably preferred. And then um, on the weapon you can get it on the weapon as well you can actually get 10 percent reduction on the weapons so the important thing is just to have two random rolls and you don't want to sacrifice crit chance or crit damage or like fire damage on your necklace you don't want to sacrifice any of these strong damage modifiers for the resource reduction um, if you have vitality dual crit mage fist you know then you could swap to a resource reduction weapon here um, so, this is just the roll, random rolls that I ended up with, and this is the situation that I have. So, you don't have to have resource reduction on your Mage Fist. It is a good spot to pick it up. You could also, the ring, sometimes you land with a random roll on the resource reduction. Again, the important thing is that you have about two random rolls worth of resource reduction, as well as your Paragon points specced into resource reduction. The value of the resource reduction is very good. Uh, up to a certain point. You don't want to sacrifice too many core stats getting too much resource reduction because you have pretty good resource generation so it's not too crucial for you to have your abilities too cheap because you are going to be generating resources through health clubs. 
So you want, you know, rather than going overkill on the resource reduction, and sacrificing damage to spam more abilities, there's a, there's a kind of a balance point where you have the resource reduction and the damage both going on. So I found about two. If you don't have the Paragon points, you might need a third random roll. Um, you can look into the Crimson for that. And so on the belt we have the Harrington, you know, for when you click on interact with things you get the damage bonus, that's really good. Cinder coat, obviously, re fire resource reduction, fire damage, and um, as in terms of the rolls on the items, it's pretty much the same thing across the board. You want to get dual crit, fire damage. So like my necklace, fire damage, crit damage, crit chance. You know, on the Mage Fist, same thing, fire damage, crit chance, crit damage, SOJ, fire damage, crit chance, you know, same thing, crit chance, fire damage, dex, vitality. The vitality and all res can go either way, you want to balance, depending on how much you have elsewhere, you know, if, if I had a random roll of all res on my chest instead of vitality, I might be gymming for vitality instead of all res. It just depends on how you're going to balance your character. The important thing is that you're comfortable farming the content that you're farming with the stats that you have. So if you need more toughness, you know, you can Paragon for Vitality or Gym for all res. doesn't really matter as long as you're comfortable and you maintain the balance for your character. It should be good. Um, it's pretty straightforward once you look at all of the items that are really strong for fire, you got the Cinder Coat, Mage Fist, Stone of Jordan, the Harringtons is really good, Reaper's Wraps for the resources. But once you uh, set aside all these slots for items, then you're only left with a few slots to work with, and the only way to fit in the Marauder, which is really strong, because, you know, I should mention when you come companion calls all companions to your side you get both the active and the passive from all of the pets so all of your companions you get the all res from the boar the life per second the hatred region the damage bonus the movement speed pick up gold the slow from the spider as well as the meat shields of having the three pets tank so it's really really strong uh, set bonus there and you know, the Natalia, the extra discipline, obviously strong, and the crit chance is really good as well. So, uh, there is going to be some other combinations of items that are going to do really well, but from my experience, this is one of the strongest. This is my favorite whenever I play on Torment 5 and 6. This is the combination of items that I usually run around with. You can see here my stats. I'm at 2.04 attacks per second, 57 crit chance, 504 crit damage, 1000 all res, 10 million toughness, 459,000 health, some health go bonus, a little bit of life on hit, life per second, resource reduction is at 23. 23% on the Hatred, I am running Perfectionist. On the Higher Torment, that's pretty much a staple passive, so I always pretty much run Perfectionist. So we're 23 reduction and 30.7 there. And my movement speed is actually not correct at this point, so I respect my Paragon earlier. Movement speed's not quite right. But whatever you are running, you know, it's just important to make sure that you respec keeping your paragon movement speed at 25. So that's that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope that helps you guys um, build a cluster demon hunter, you know.